Eighth grade open up resources, illustrative math, unit two, lesson two, circular grid. Glossary terms. Center of dilation. The center of a dilation is a fixed point on a plane. It is the starting point from which we measure distances in a dilation. In this diagram, point P is the center of the dilation. Dilation. A dilation is a transformation in which each point on a figure moves along a line and changes its distance from a fixed point. The fixed point is the center of dilation. All the original distances are multiplied by the same scale factor. For example, triangle DEF is a dilation of triangle ABC. The fixed center point is 0 and the scale factor is 3. This means that every point of triangle DEF is three times as far from zero as every corresponding point of triangle ABC. In this example, point C is this distance away from zero. Its corresponding point, point F, would be three times that distance away from zero. In this example, point B is this distance away from zero and its corresponding point, point E, would be three times that distance away from zero. Problem number one. Here are circles C and D. Point zero is the center of dilation, and the dilation takes circle C to circle D. A. Plot a point on circle C. Label the point P. Plot where P goes when the dilation is applied. B. Plot a point on circle D. Label that point Q. Plot a point that the dilation takes to Q. Problem number two. Here is triangle ABC. A. Dilate each vertex of triangle ABC using P as the center of dilation and a scale factor of two. First I'll trace triangle ABC in blue. You can see that P represents the center of dilation. I can count how far away point A is from the center of dilation. Point A is a total of two units away from point P, the center of dilation. Since the scale factor is 2, I need to multiply 2 times 2 to find the location that point A has moved to during the dilation. Follow the line or ray that runs from the center point P straight through A and count 4 units. That will be the new location of point A after the dilation is made with a scale factor of 2. Now I'll follow the line from center point P straight through point B. And I count four units between center point P and point B. And since there's a scale factor of two, I multiply four times two for a total of eight units. The new point will be eight units away from center point P. Now I'll do the same with point C. I'll move from center point P straight through point C and I notice that point C is three units away from center point P. With a scale factor of two, I would have to double three. So three times two equals six. So the new point for point C will be six units away from center point P. Draw the triangle connecting the three new points. B. Dilate each vertex of triangle ABC using P as the center of dilation and a scale factor of one half. This next triangle has a scale factor of one half. So we need to start at center point P and go halfway to point A and put our first point. Then start at center point P and go halfway to point B and put our second point. And finally start at center point P and go halfway to point C and put our third point. Draw the triangle connecting the three new points. C. 
Measure the longest side of each of the three triangles. You could do the comparison with a ruler, however I'm just going to drop the length down to the length below it and compare it. And I notice when I do that, the length doubles as you move to the next longer line. What do you notice? Starting with the shorter of the three lines, the length doubles as you move to the next longer line. D. Measure the angles of each triangle. You could use a protractor to measure these angles, but instead I'm just going to compare these corresponding angles. What do you notice? I noticed that the measure of each angle remains unchanged as the scale factor changes. Problem number three from eighth grade unit one lesson 12. Describe a rigid transformation that you could use to show the polygons are congruent. Reflect triangle ABC in a vertical line and translate so point A meets point D. Problem number four from eighth grade unit one lesson 15. The line has been partitioned into three angles. Is there a triangle with these three angle measures? Explain. 39 degrees plus 99 degrees plus 42 degrees equals 180 degrees. So the answer is yes because the sum totals 180 degrees and all triangles have three angles with the sum of 180 degrees. Here's an example of that triangle. 